Oh, sixteen dollars. Thought maybe that'd be a little bit more, but yeah. Oh well. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing back a very special series. If you guys are new to the channel, I used to do a series uh, about D dude. Holy crap! Pay attention next time you drive. Big old truck here. Like a year ago, I used to do a series. It was uh, building up trucks and sh uh, selling them, and then building up customers' vehicles as well, and then giving them back and getting paid for it. I'm going to be bringing back the series today. The shop is actually, you probably just seen it on the right side, but our shop is literally like right here. Go ahead and get up to the shop area, and then we'll go from there. I got to make sure that parking brake's on. But anyways, yeah, I am bringing back the custom truck shop series. Uh, we're going to be now called Full Throttle Customs. I think it fits a lot, you know, with the series and stuff. I already got the keys to the place, so here's what we're starting off with. Again, like we did in the last series, but you got to remember, I paid about 150 k for the whole place here with the uh, workshop and then the office area and then all the space that we got here. Uh, the back side that I came around over here is just going to be private entrance for me if I got to test out a vehicle that I'm custom building and you know just you know whatever just test drive it. This is going to be the entrance for the customers over that side and then over that side. This is a really nice layout. Remind you we're in Elm Creek here. So this is a very nice layout that we that we got today and I think the budget on this shop was actually pretty you know reasonable it's a little bit old old shop but i kind of want to work my way up to uh begin into the end now i'm probably only going to be doing a couple series until fs25 does come out which is in 17 days so keep that in my in mind too but this is one of the biggest series that i been wanting to start but i just I just wasn't sure of it at the time, but anyways, without further ado, I gotta go up the street because, um, well, I gotta call the guy first and make sure we're all good and set here. But yeah, I'm gonna be looking at a truck that's only up the street. It's gonna be one of the first trucks I'm gonna be buying and selling, and I gotta get a snow. I gotta get a snowmobile for it as well. Uh, there's your little hint there, but that's what we're gonna be building first. I still gotta get a sign a little bit close to the road, like on that side and that side, so people know where we are located. That's gonna be on later on today. Man, I love the startup on this truck. Which reminds me, if you guys haven't yet, check out Maplewood Modding. He is. I would say he's more like a friend now to me. I've been talking to him, you know, DM him and whatever. I got his Patreon and all of his trucks, and this is one of his trucks. This is about, this is one of his new trucks that he just released and finished. He got everything done on it fixed. This is one of my favorite trucks on Farm Sim right now. If you guys want to check out Maplewood Modded, I'll put his YouTube in the description, and you guys can go from there and check him out. But this truck has dynamic suspension on it, uh, rock lights, and, you know, just everything you would need and look look at the look at the tail pipes i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my super strength here and i'm gonna show you what i mean by uh dynamic okay so that's that's what i'm talking about dynamic it, this truck has flex through the roof tell me what other mods have you seen people putting flex on their truck look at that oh dude I love this truck. This is one of my favorite trucks. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue the video. You know, I might honestly just leave my truck here in my trailer. The truck we're getting is literally not going to fit on my trailer. I couldn't get a little bit bigger of a trailer. This is the only trailer they had in stock. Well, I'm going to walk up the street here. It's literally up this road and around. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit shortcut. Catch you guys once we get over to the truck. Yeah, I know that's not a little bit. That's not a far walk, but man, that sure is a far walk. <laughs> Especially going uphill, and it looks like I see the truck there. All right, so here's the truck that we're gonna be buying to start off. Start off the series. It's a nice F550 Overkill, six by six or whatever you want to call it. 6.7 liter power stroke. Nice. I love this truck. Looks like it's already sitting on air ride and got a little bit of customization done to it. He only wants about, I think, like I think he said like about 200,000. I think we can get him down. But let me go ahead and talk to the guy and just go from there. So I got him down about $165,000. I feel like taking it for a test drive. You said it ran and drove and everything and nothing wrong with it. So I go ahead and just believe him on that. And, uh, hopefully we didn't, uh, you know, screw the pooch on this one. But this thing's clean. Look at this. Let's look at the... Oh, wow. 
this interior is done too so we don't really have much to do on this truck i mean we can do a little bit here and there i want to change the wheels and tires because this is going to be for uh you know in, for the winter time for whoever wants to buy it yes all wheels steer so it's a lot easier to get in and out of parking spaces if you are a terrible you know driver I just took out that stop sign. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in the shop for now. Uh, I gotta order some wheels and tires for it. I'm not exactly sure what I want to put on it. I did want to put. I'm gonna go ahead and just put uh, what is it tracks on this thing, but I'm not too entirely sure if I want to track it. Well, we'll we'll see what goes on. We'll see what we like. Uh, I gotta look in the catalog, but I'm gonna go ahead and order up the snow belt, and then that should. Pretty sure they already got one in stock. I'm not 100% sure on that, but. I'm gonna go ahead and order that and then we can go ahead and hit the road. So unfortunately they didn't have a snowmobile stock, so we'll just save that for another project. I did order one up, it'll be here in like a month. We went ahead and got the next best thing for our uh little special that we're building here for our grand opening. Now remind you I'm not open yet. Uh, I'm just waiting to get this I'm gonna get this truck done. It should take about like two weeks to get it done and then our uh second project that i just bought literally just bought and it's already there it's already in stock so all i gotta do is just pick it up hopefully there's no car coming you know no cop no stop uh once we get over to the dealership i will catch you guys in a second and show you guys what we bought looks like they already have it parked out front so i guess i'll just whip it around here okay so it's a 2023 can am defender this thing is pretty nice i just gotta go finish signing all the paperwork and then we're gonna go ahead and make this the best polaris ever um maybe for show i'm not entirely sure whatever whatever my brain things of but keys to the uh defender here we're gonna go ahead and stick it up on the trailer i want to make a match and set for the overkill that, that's what i'm basically going for is to match the overkill and the whole setup that it's got going for that that that's what i'm gonna be going for just got back over at the shop forgot to close my office door that's all right hopefully no one took anything right, i'm gonna go ahead and get this defender off the trailer and then go ahead and park everything here so i was thinking about putting a brand new motor in it tuned up either fuels i might just do fuels those look pretty good fuels military ones the alcos and the crawlers I don't know, I low-key might just do the crawlers, but that's honestly not street legal. So yeah, uh, I guess fuels it is. And then we're going to keep the overkill girl on, of course. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and order up all the parts for both of our uh, vehicles here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put everything up, go order everything, and I should be back with you guys when the process of ha is halfway done. Of course. It's been about two weeks. I was at the shop here and there. I was working on overkill. I'm still waiting for all the parts for the uh, Can-Am there. Those would be coming in within another week. One of my buddies came who knows how to paint really good. Uh, came by and uh, obviously I paid him to help me paint the uh, overkill. Uh, within itself, that was like a five-day project to paint the truck, especially for the matching the uh, suspension there it's paint match suspension and the colors paint match as well so i'm gonna go ahead and just open this up so we can go ahead and take it out of the shop i still gotta do displays areas but i don't know uh, because this area really doesn't have a lot of traffic on it i mean we could set some display area up over here uh you know alongside the road area but kind of don't want my vehicles getting hit but anyways let's go ahead and check out overkill oh dude he did an awesome job on this paint even with the matching oh my lord wow dang okay so yeah got the fuels put those on those had to be custom made obviously the uh paint was custom made as well same with the powder coated suspension well so yeah this truck is done and now we're just waiting for the can-am parts to get here so so yeah i'm probably just gonna stick this to be honest out of the way for now i'm gonna go ahead and just continue to wait for the parts to honestly get here for the can-am and then we can finish that project up as well man that air ride is actually so smooth all right so i guess uh just waiting for the can-am parts to get here i'll be back with you guys again this is the before obviously and then you guys will get the after we're all done with the can-am it's been about like a couple more weeks 
since I've been back at the shop. I was there obviously working on a can amp because I need to get it done. I, if you guys see in the rear, 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 rear view mirror, I did get something for myself for around the shop area. We have something so I can mow the grass and keep it looking nice. Uh, let's go ahead and have you guys take a look at this can am. You guys are going to be absolutely blown away with this can am. I still got to put it in the back of that uh, and put it up on display and then put it on the website. So let's go ahead and open this door. And, oh, yeah. Look at this. She's looking pretty. Now, of course, my friend here did stay and help uh, paint match the Can-Am with Overkill as well. So, we got that going for us as well. So, let's go ahead and hop into this. This thing is not street legal, but we're going to go ahead and take it down the street and see how she handles. I know it's a Can-Am Defender, but I, I still want to see how well she will do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that. Oh yeah, these, that was awesome. I, I was honestly thinking about just keeping the Canon Defender and Overkill for myself, but I kind of don't want to do that because I, you know, I do want to make some money off of the shop as well. If you guys have any ideas for the next episode, let me know down in the comment section below because I do would love to hear from you guys. Let's see if we can do a donut. Eh, not quite. Still a donut, but not quite. How deep is this? Got to make sure the off-road and it's really good here. Honestly, the water's not even that deep here. Or, I mean, it's a little creek, but hey. At least we're still uh, off-roading. Have a little bit of fun before we get to sell this thing. Obviously, you got to make sure nothing falls off and it all handles well. So, that's my main concern, too, for, you know, everybody. Go ahead and get this up on overkill. And then we can go ahead and try to make our first sale. Alright, I thought about a better way to put it on display. We let the ramps down, obviously, and then we put the can amp up on the ramps. Uh, I think that'll be well worth it. I mean, you can see it from the road. Uh, if you're coming up, you can see it. If you're coming down, and then up down this way, you can see it as well. I think we did a really good job building all this. So, that is, uh, you know, pretty cool. I'm still waiting for the custom sign to come in so we can put at least two signs up on each entrance over there and then down there as well but of course went a little bit slow there maybe checking out the truck or something I don't know but the shop is open I did post up on Facebook and everywhere else and the uh, newspaper ads as well around here and around the area hopefully uh, we start getting some customers soon I know one thing that I do want to build before winter is a uh, snowmobile setup or whatever you want to call it but hey, if you guys are gonna enjoy this series let me know down in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next episode I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.